Hey Retro Gamers, today we're going to bring you an unboxing of the NES Classic Edition. This is my personal Classic Edition. I was uh, waiting for this in line every morning for seven days and I finally was able to end up getting one and um, I want to unbox it and show you here today what it is and how small this sucker really is. So here's the box. It's actually a really nice box. I like the way that they went retro with the whole thing. They didn't uh, take anything modern and put in it. So it comes with a little poster. And this is the classic controller. And that, I don't know if you can see that in view, but this is not retro gaming. I don't know why they did this. Retro gaming was a six foot cord attached to a controller. So we'll set this off to the side. Here's our power supply, which is just a USB power brick. I'll leave this for last. So as you get your Nintendo, you're going to have all these little cardboard pieces. And underneath you get an HDMI cable as well as your USB power cord. All right, and now the part that we've all been waiting for. This little guy right here. And this thing is a thing of beauty. It's got the power button here, just like the original NES, the reset button. Right here is your two controller port inputs. The only difference with these is they're the new USB type that is for the uh, Nintendo Wii and Wii U adapters. And we have the HDMI out and the DC in. Unfortunately, they took that flap off, so you can't even open it up, which is kind of sad. It would be nice to see like an SD card in here where you can swap out different games just by replacing the SD cards. But unfortunately, we don't have that. So this thing is about the palm of my hand size. I've got small hands. I think this is probably about a five inch, maybe, f I don't know, five, four and a half inch uh, NES Mini. Explains why it's a Mini. So in the next video, we're going to show you how to uh, install and set it up. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.